Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of the distributive property and how we can use it in expressions. We'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So the distributive property is sometimes known as the breaking apart property. And what this means, it's going to look a little bit strange, but I'll explain what it means. You'll see something like this. A parentheses B plus C equals AB plus AC. One thing we need to keep in mind is that when we see a parentheses in any kind of algebraic expression or equation, it always means to multiply. So really what you're doing is you're taking this A and you're multiplying it by the sum of B and C. But sometimes you can't add B and C because they might not both be numbers. One might be a number and one might be an unknown or a variable. So what you can do is you can use the distributive property to break it apart. And you can multiply the A times the B and then add that to A times C and you're going to get the exact same value. So let me show you what that looks like with an example. Let's say we have 9. I'll start with just numbers first. So 9 times 3 plus 2. Parentheses. Now, if we wanted to simplify this expression, we could. We could just take this 9 and simplify the 3 plus 2, and that's going to be 5. So 9 times 5 is going to be 45. What happens if we take this distributive property and we break it apart? And so we're going to take this 9, and we're going to multiply it by the 3, because this 9 is my A, and my 3 is going to be my B. So it's going to be 9 times 3 plus, we keep whatever operation is in here, in this case it's addition, is going to be the same as 9 times 2. So we have two operations that we need to take care of first using our order of operations. Let's take care of our multiplication here. So 9 times 3, that's 27. And 9 times 2, that's 18. And 27 times 18 is 45. Let me show you another example. So let's look at another expression here. We're not going to be able to figure out what this expression equals because we have two unknowns. We're not sure what the y and the x are equal to. But we can create an equivalent or an equal expression using our distributive property. You see here we have a 6 parentheses y minus 3. That means that 6 is multiplied by y and multiplied by that negative 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that 6 and we're just going to multiply it by the y first. So 6 times y. Or if you want, you can just write that as 6y. And then we have a minus 6 and we have the times the 3. So if you want, you can do 6 times 3. You also could go ahead and simplify that. And you can just make that 18 because you did the 6 times the 3. And then in both cases, the x out on the side, the minus x, is not going to be changed. Let's look at one more example. Sometimes you might get an expression like this, 36y, that is already simplified. And you need to break it apart using the distributive property. And it seems like you're going to be doing it in reverse. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our 36y, and that is equal to this part right here. And the only difference is, is that 36 is already collapsed. It's the b plus c already collapsed. So what we want to do is we want to break this apart into the sum of two add-ins. And you can pick any two add-ins. So in this case, let's do 20 and let's do 16. 20 and 16, that makes 36. So remember, AB plus AC means you're going to take that and you're going to multiply that by Y here. So it looks like 20Y plus 16Y is going to be the same as 36Y. Well, to double check, Let's just substitute in a number for y. Let's say y equals 2. Well, if we've got 36y, that would be 36 times 2. So that's going to be 72. But if we want to say y is 2 here, it would be 20 times 2 plus 16 times 2. And that's going to be 40 plus 32, which equals 72. So the distributive property can be used in either direction. 